Welcome to Netlytics online tutorial detailing the features available on the Dataset Preview tab. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to access the preview screen, use the filters and labels fields, download your dataset as a CSV file, and finally, how to read the API log. Begin by logging into Netlytic. On your home page, select the dataset you'd like to work with. The next screen that appears is called the preview screen, as it gives you a glimpse of the data collected for the text and network analysis sections. You can come back to this screen at any time by selecting the preview tab up in the top of the menu bar. In the preview screen, you can view up to 1,000 of the first records, which is helpful to ensure the imported records are relevant to your search request. At the top of this screen, Netlytic will display the total number of records belonging to the dataset, and this can give you a sense of its size and what you might expect to see in the following visualizations. In the Records menu bar, there are two drop down menus. The first, called Filter Fields, allows you to sort the data by a specific field. This can be useful if you are looking to find a specific piece of information as well as to ensure it's been collected. For instance, Let's select the author field from the drop-down list. A second drop-down list will appear for you to filter for a specific author. Let's choose Are You Student Life? Based on our filtering criteria, we have asked for a search to return results that are located in the author field and have been created by the user Are You Student Life? Please note that only the first 1,000 records are searched through this interface. Use the text analysis step to search through the whole dataset. The second menu, called Row Label Fields, allows you to select the row labels that appear on the screen. This can help to hide columns that you don't want to view in this preview, so it helps to get rid of cumbersome data on the screen. For instance, if we uncheck the link box, that row will now be hidden. You can always recheck the box and refresh the preview tab to bring it back. A new feature available through the Preview tab is being able to clean the text of your dataset. We will be discussing this in more depth in the Importing and Working with Text Files tutorial. In the Preview tab, you can also export the dataset into a CSV file, also known as a comma-separated value file, and this will be downloaded into an Excel spreadsheet. This may be useful for data cleaning and additional analysis, such as applying manual codings to records. The final functionality we will look at in the preview screen is a link to view the data collection logs, or API logs. An API, which stands for Application Programming Interface, is a common mechanism for data sharing across Web 2.0 applications. Netlytic relies on public APIs to request and collect data from various social media services such as Twitter and Facebook. By clicking on the link to view the API logs, you can see what API requests Netlytic sends and the number of records returned by social media websites in response. Here we can see a few different types of messages. First, the API call. This is where Netlytic has initiated a query with the intended source. We can see the date, status, query, and number of records returned. The date indicates when the API call was completed. Depending on your dataset parameters, you may only have one call, for instance when collecting comments from a YouTube link, or you may have several if you're collecting data over an extended period of time, for instance, a week's collection from Twitter. The query will remain the same for the entire dataset, and the number of records indicates how many were imported for each time Netlytic contacted the import source. The second message we can see is in regards to saving records. This status indicates records which were saved to the database and will show how many records were imported, how many were skipped because of duplication, and finally how many were saved into Netlytic. The API logs are a great tool for troubleshooting as it will indicate whether an external API actually returned any records and how many. If there was a problem with importing records, the preview page may be blank. To confirm this, download and open the API log page.
If there are any issues, you will see an error message. For more information on troubleshooting tips, please see our troubleshooting tutorial. The link is provided below. Thanks for watching. For more information on how to use Netlytic, please visit our YouTube channel. Documentation can also be found at our website at netlytic.org.